Hello everybody and welcome back to more of The Legend of Zelda A Wink to the Past. Last time, we took care of business at the Swamp Palace, and in this episode, we are going to make our way to that third flashing crystal over there with the number three. But before we do that, we're gonna actually pick up a heart piece, which is why we are not starting off the episode right in front of the Swamp Palace, because I want to get a move on here and pick up this heart piece before we head into the third Dark World Dungeon. Alright, and there we go. Alright, so quickly we'll dash our way, and I didn't mean to run into this guy, the skull, the skull, the skull is trying to kill me. You thought I was gonna say on fire, didn't you? Nah, I'm not too cliche. Alright, pound that with a peg. Oh, what? Pound the hammer with a peg. No, pound the peg with the hammer. Uh, we got the hook shot last time, and conveniently, we use that to get across this little gap here. That will help us along the way. Alright, so. Oh, I didn't mean to get hit by the bomb there, but that's okay. That is okay. Let's quickly make our way over here. And now we can head up. And I guess we'll avoid these enemies. Although we could use the heart. But maybe we'll get a heart from these guys? One of them? No? Okay. Come on, heart. Oh, and I lose it right away. Anyway, lift up this big rock here, and you can see in the corner of the your eye the next heart piece that we will be getting. It's up on the ledge above, so let's... Okay, this guy... Uh, heart, thank you. Let's head up the stairs. And the intended way to do this is by using the hook shot, but you can just glaze along this edge here and do it this way. So you can get this heart piece early on if you don't have the uh, hook shot. So, little tip there. Anyway, equip the magic cape to get past this, because that's the only way that you can get past that. Uh, I don't know of any speedrunning, game-breaking tactics to do that, but there probably is. Anyways, your next heart piece is right here. And now that we're done with that, we can head up. Okay. Okay, that guy's flying away. I didn't actually expect him to do that. Alright. And now we can head to the third dungeon of the game. And it's actually right up through here. We just need to take care of... Dude! Well, at least he gave me the heart back. Alright, so this dungeon is unique. You can do it in practically any order you want. Uh, we're gonna start out the way where it shows the actual name of the dungeon, because I think there's only one time it does that. So let's really quickly make our way over here. Gotta take out these guys first. And of course that one didn't drop any money. Anyway, if you enter through here, welcome to the Skull Woods. Ah, this room. Gibdos, and one very annoying Zelda enemy. Mmm, yep. There he is. The worst thing ever in Zelda games for me when I was a child. The Floor Master. Wall Master, whatever uh, you prefer to call him. I think in different games he goes by something different. Uh... Oh! Nope, not gonna work. Come on! Give dough. Come on. Also gotta avoid... Ugh! Jesus! Okay, he just got stuck there for a second, but... That's okay! I can take that! Alright, we just gotta... Watch out for... I'll wait till he appears again, cuz... Yep, there he is! Nope. Grab and pull, because he's going to appear really soon. And we want to make sure... There we go. Alright. Oh, God. Anyway. Oof. <laughs> 
Anyways, as I was trying to show off, the big key! Yeah, you can break this dungeon and pick up the big key right away. Although, I guess it's not really considered breaking the dungeon when you pretty much have the option to do it in whatever order you want. Of course, you will need to probably go back and get a lot of small keys, because you'll probably miss a few, and we actually took that guy out! Awesome! And right here, I believe, is only a big magic bottle. Yes, it is, to refill your magic. Oh, you sneaky little floor master. Uh, wall master. Alright. Let's quickly pull... Uh, push that. Pull? Push. Get your directions right, although it's not really direction. Haha, <laughs> we took that guy out. And... Uh, small key! Can we push these to the side? No? Okay. Alright. Let's go over here. Come down here. Now we're gonna head it back this way. Uh, because we actually need to go do more dungeon things. Yeah, I know, right? Okay. So, let's quit. Take... You're not gonna even move for me. Okay. Alright, yeah, down here. And drop down here. To another part of the dungeon. Okay. Yeah, you're not gonna get me there, Mr. Guy. Is there anything of importance? Go this way. Oh, wow. Um, we're gonna need to come over here. Oh, God. Okay, okay. Alright, this is what we can do. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, look at that. I totally did not plan that. But it worked out very well, and we're probably gonna die. <laughs> Thank goodness we have our fairies. Okay. Get out of here. Okay. Let's enter through here. And it's a good thing that we did come this way because hearts. Yeah. Very important. Oh god, oh god. Oh my lord. Oh, crap. I walked right into that one. But the good thing about the Wallmaster, Floormaster guys, when they get you, it resets everything in the dungeon. Oh, God. Get. And, like I've already said, they do not go away. So, you'll be pretty much fighting with them through thick and thin. Oh, my God. Three of them at once? I'm trying to get the chest that's right there. Tactics. Another small key. Some magic. The other uh, skulls, I don't think, are um, too important. Haha, <laughs> you got driven over... Oh, I almost got driven into the... Uh, into the pit! Anyway, right here is the map! Alright, let's head through this side door here. Take you on. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Right there's the item of the dungeon. We will be getting that a little bit later on. We already have the big key, so that's a good thing. Oop. Alright down. There we go. And... Yep, Ring of Fire. I don't believe there's anything important in those skulls over there, so we will just skip out on them. Let's take out this guy. There we go, about time. 
Um, is there a heart over here? Yes, there is. I really needed that. Some magic right there. Another heart there. And, oh my god, the floor has disappeared after unlocking the compass in this chest. Yeah, that's a little bit freaky. That freaked me out when I played this when I was really little. This is really the only important area of this room. Just gotta watch out. If any floor masters appear, another small key, and we're gonna be using this one right away over on this door. And look at that! We're already done right there. So now, we can get the item of the dungeon. Okay. So, we drop down- oh god B! Avoid. That was anticlimactic. Take you down. Hit you. There we go. Could use that heart. Use that one too. All right. Um. Oh, that was wrong. Let's use a bomb right here. I don't think there's anything important with those sun. Dial. Oh, actually, I do need to get hit that. And get thrown back by the green fuzzball. Uh, right there's refill stuff. You can get magic, I believe. That's all that it is. So, let's just pull this switch here. And that unveils the area where the item of the dungeon is. As well as some mini moldorms. And, the item of the dungeon we will be getting is... The Fire Rod! This rod commands red fire, but watch your magic meter. Alright. So, oh, we already have the hookshot equipped. Oh, jeez. Alright, so, now that we got that, let's exit here. And we actually need to hit these guys. There we go, and we actually got money for it that time, yeah! Alright. Avoid. Yeah, we'll just avoid him. Alright, come back through here. And head through here. And now, let's exit again. Alright. I'm gonna be heading to the final area. Here it is. Alright, let's equip our fire rod, and let's light this bad boy. Here we go. The final area of the Skull Woods. Nothing? Alright, let's head inside. Yeah, there's a lot more left to... Oh. Oh, wow. That was really close. Avoid the fire. Alright, let's use... Oh, boy. Oh, God. Oh, how did he... I was not... Heart, no. Oh, God, how did I even... Oh, crap. Now I gotta do that all over again. And head through here. Okay. Now, this is the tough part of the dungeon. Oh, I needed that refill. Okay. Oh. 
Oh my god. I thought that I was gonna fail that. Oh man. Oh wait, what? Oh crap. Okay. Gotta do this again. Head through here. There we go. Oh, bunny! Oh, wait. Bombos? Save the day! This is the first time I'm actually using Bombos, too. Should have showed this off already, but oh well. Oh, heart. I needed you. Oh, God. Don't. Please. Oh. Well, that was the right one to hit. Heart. Bombos, will that take care of the helmet guys? Let's see... It... Oh, it does, okay. And small key, use it right away! And head down here. Here we go, boss fight time! I need to use this now. Oh, I forgot that I had bottle equipped. Oh my god. I thought I was going to die there for a second. But I did it. Another heart container, and let's pick up the next crystal. Link, thanks to you, I was able to escape the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. Do you know the prophecy of the Great Cataclysm? This is the way I heard it. If a person with an evil heart gets the Triforce, a hero is destined to appear. And he alone must face the person who unleashed the Great Cataclysm. If the Evil One destroys the hero, nothing can save the world from his wicked reign. Only a member of the Hi Knights of Hyrule who protected the Hylian royalty can become the hero. You are of their bloodline, aren't you? Then you must rescue Zelda without fail. Do you understand? May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. All right, so we just completed our third Dark World dungeon. Next time, on The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, we will continue on with our dungeon conquest, and we will go to the fourth dungeon, just south of here, in the Village of Outcasts. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.